No, a disclaimer. I'm not a professional at all. And I know soldering is a very difficult topic. There are so many professionals out there. And again, a lot of them probably will complain. I did say something wrong. There's a lot of quarrel in the specialized forums. So that's my opinion, my experience. And now I'll talk a little bit about solder. First of all, flux. Forget it. No flux. You don't need this, 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 this. You will not need flux for soldering SMD LEDs. And normally you will never need flux. Maybe for unsoldering, it can be useful if the solder joints are already old. If you soldered and resoldered and unsoldered some spots and soldering joints. But normally you will not need any flux. You see how all those all look because I nearly never use them. If you have a problem, put fresh solder to the joint and it will work. For the SMD LEDs, I use 0 0.5 millimeter, but it would work with the normal one millimeter solder wire too. Leaded solder wire is better than lead free. No matter what anyone tells you, there is no arguing. There is a reason why professionals still use leaded solder, can use it. And of course, in airplanes, spaceships, leaded solder is used because it's better and it's easier to work with. However, for private persons like us or me, it's not possible, at least here in European Union, to buy leaded solder anymore, only lead-free solder. But... Don't make the mistake to buy solder in China from AliExpress or from Banggood. That's crap. You ask me, I, how can I say this? Because I bought at least 10 different types of Chinese solder. Here, 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 here. I did already buy one roll maybe more than 10 years ago to try, but this was crap. I never used it. But when there was the change and uh, let it solder was forbidden because it's toxic, it's toxic, lead is toxic. For private use, I bought about 10 different solders from China, from AliExpress and from Banggood to test, only to find maybe one, those are still packed, one good solder. And I did not find one. All those are poor crap. It's unbelievable. I use them for making weights for microgrowers. Now I know not very healthy. And the others I will bring to the toxic waste place here in my city one day. It's unbelievable how crap this is. And Banggood even gave me the money back for all the solders because I made test solders and made pictures, took photos from good solder aside and from solder from those solders from Banggood and it's um there are solders which have several thousand positive reviews it's unbelievable and i can tell you from buying about 10 different solders from aliexpress and from Banggood there is not a single one which does work only okay i don't know why people don't complain why they do give positive reviews how do they don't they know how a good solder should work it's really unbelievable but not all china stuff is crap because there is hobby king and hobby king does have this solder pros kit made in taiwan this is quite okay and super cheap and really works well and they also do have this super solder with sil silver also from po bros kit made in taiwan this is absolutely top solder so but mostly sold out on hobby king but if you can get it highly high recommendation highly highly recommended those are the solders i still use but those are my last ones the old ones you can't buy them anymore. I cannot buy them either. But this stuff is not bad. But don't buy any solder from AliExpress or Banggood.
or buy 30 or 40 different ones and try all out and then please tell me which one works normal as well as this cheap solder here local solder perfect 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 but this is perfect too and this is really very good too and now i show you quickly how to solder smd leds or those smd leds first prepare your wires very important pre-tin your wires think about how you want to place the smd led afterwards because there are two ways to solder it directly that way or that way so flat or 90 degrees if there are the openings for the wires you use the 90 degree way solder the wire that way then place the smd led in a perfect for your hand position place your loop of course then take the soldering wire take your soldering iron pre-tin the tip clean the tip and then pre-tin both ends of the smd led then take your wire which is already pre-tinned place it with loop of course and then solder and keep still for a moment and finally cut the ends the long ends of the soldering wire that's it and that's the way how you get all those soldered leds so check this out now short videos how i soldered some of the smd leds but without camera it's much 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 easier and don't forget to use a loop i solder smd leds normally with 340 degrees celsius many may say that's too hot far too hot but i highly prefer hot and only a short touch of the tip of the soldering tip to the device then cool and a long touching is necessary so here pre-tin the led here the negative pole place the pre-tinned wire short touch okay and a final clip to remove the too long wire positive pole pre-tin short touch not very good too much solder on the bottom side i solder here in 90 degree pre-tinned wire short touch eh, not very good but we'll do it and clip from a different angle pre-tin positive pole pre-tin negative pole that's nice and solder the wire pre-tin wire of course the black one to the negative pole but no that's not good at all so not good simply remove it maybe pre-tin the wire again and second try and that's now okay and the positive pole okay and clip come on clip and clip so those are the wires soldered in 90 degree 
for the LEDs with the positions with the openings in the housings and here quickly that's how I solder a LED where the wire should be in parallel pre-tin the tabs. I normally solder it to the, the wire to the bottom side sometimes also to the upper side but that way there is no danger to touch the LED glass come on positive pole ok come on negative pole uh, not perfect but ok check the LED one short clip and again I am not a professional that's only my opinion and my experience in soldering I love my soldering station but I'm sure there are much better and much more expensive ones so disclaimer again that's how I do it and what I think and if you love your TS-100 and can solder SMD LEDs with the large and heavy soldering iron then of course it's fine.